For the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spiderbite, Spiderbite from NextGenTactics.com. And Guns for Hire. Weehaw. This is Terminal Delta Spec Ops, part one. This is a two-parter. Um, as soon as, right where you spawn, as soon as you step out of this little, uh, I don't know, this little area, cubicle, whatever you want to call it. Um, as soon as you step out left, uh, there's like three or four guys that come running from the right-hand side, including this, uh... Riot Pain shield. in the ass riot shield guy. What the hell? I can't take him down. Yeah, just remember, an easy way to do it is if someone, like a spider bite, I didn't actually come out far enough, but as long as the riot shield guy is concentrating on one of the players, the other one can swing out and actually hit him because he's only going to look one way and it exposes him uh, to get shot from the side. Yeah, and you'll see it here. Um, I'm sticking to my spot. Guns is uh, further forward. So you'll notice um, a little later when the riot shield guys come down the stairs, they'll be focused on me and guns can take them out easily. Now as soon as these guys spawn, there's going to be two guys up top. So I'm responsible for taking the guys out up top while guns is taking out the guys that are going to be coming down the stairs shortly. Yeah, and that's an LMG I have. That's important. You want to have that ammo because there's you don't have time to keep re, uh, reloading here. So you want to have a nice big ammo pack on that. Yeah, again, the spot where I'm at, I mean, I come out a little bit, just so that when the riot shield guys do come around, uh, the riot shields are faced towards me, and guns can easily take them out. And actually, it ends up being another guy up top there that starts shooting at me. Yeah, it's just smarter play like that, because I've tucked way, way back. I have a direct angle just around that corner of that sort of planter or whatever there that's circling the, uh, the elevators there. So they're only looking at spider bite because technically he is really close to them but he's protected by that elevator uh, yeah. the glass elevator yeah for some reason you can't shoot through the glass yeah <laughs> so bulletproof. yeah it's bulletproof glass i guess okay so we're done with the initial wave so i'm going to set up a few claymores and guns is going to stay put and i'm actually going to trigger the second wave by running up top here and then i'm going to haul ass back down to the same position that i was in uh for the first wave so I don't think I actually triggered it. I thought I did. I thought I heard some voices, but I yeah, didn't. Yeah, well, we heard some yelling, so we yeah. assumed that they were coming, but... Yeah, so I end up actually grabbing a riot shield and going back up the trigger. So just in case you do run into trouble, it's probably a good idea to have a riot shield with you. But as soon as I come back down, I switch it back out for my uh, regular weapon. You can try a similar sort of setup on the upper level. After you initially get the first wave done... But it, it is rather difficult because there's there's too much of a, a width where they actually come from. Because there's right along, when we get up to the top there, you'll see well spider bites going up. Right alongside the elevators there, there's that opening. But they do go to, sort of go to the far back where the, uh, the left is. And yeah. it, it, we tried it that way there, but it's too exposed. This way here, it's super, super easy. They come after... It's a lot safer this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, trying to take position up top for the second wave is uh, is pretty difficult. So you'll notice these waves actually come in sort of two parts. I mean, initially the guys that are just have assault rifles or LMGs or whatever will come down. And then it's going to take a little bit longer for the guys with the riot shields just because they move uh, that much more slowly than the initial guys. Yeah, just be patient. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to say, what the hell, are there any more coming down? And I'm trying to get a view of the uh, the stairs here to see if the riot shield guys are coming. And they are. And although you can't see it, I can actually, on my top, right where the the picture in picture is, right where Spider Bite's view is, I can actually see them coming down the escalator. You can see them actually dropping down. So just, you don't have to move. Keep keep your uh, sights forward on this. Oh, yeah. How'd that, how'd that happen? I'm not sure. I think I stuck my head out. Oh, fuck. oh a grenade. <laughs> Good thing that didn't hit you. And remember, if this happens, you do have, I think, what is it, a minute? Yeah, a minute. To, so, to revive. I mean, make there, sure it's clear before you do that. Yeah, there were still guys coming down. I mean, Guns isn't going to move right over. He's going to make sure that the guys are cleared out before he comes to revive me. And I still had, I still had the capability to fire as well, so I could still provide cover for him. And tell him if I see anybody, so... 
So we still hear some voices, so I think there's still a few more guys coming down, possibly. Some stragglers up there. I think they're actually, there's technically, not technically, typically one or two in that, that shock right there, right where you can see me firing, or, or right where a uh, spider bite threw a grenade. So um, I think there's only one more wave, and uh, we're going to save that for part two. So this has been part one of Terminal. This is uh, Delta Spec Ops. And I'm Spiderbite for nextgentactics.com. And I'm Guns for Hire. Thanks for watching.